Good? Yep. Hey everybody, Jake here with Essential Motion Spine and Sport. Chris, Executive Health Solutions, your herniated disc experts. Right That's here, right. coming back right. at you with some more knowledge. Yeah, so today our topic is, uh, have you ever wondered why you have you know, neck, arm, and shoulder pain after sitting at your desk all day? So we'll, It's quite common. And yeah, you know, You'll feel super that, common. like you'll start out, you'll feel pretty good over the course of, sometimes it's just minutes, sometimes it's hours. You're there, all of a sudden you're like, man, why is that just like aching deep down? You're thinking, I got a shoulder problem. Do I have a, an elbow problem? Do I have, you know, carpal tunnel? Why are my hands, you know, fingers going numb and different feelings? And, yep. and more than likely, it's, it's a very simple um, cause and reason. It's not all of those complicated ones at all. Yeah, so most commonly, it typically comes from your neck where you start feeling all that pain. So we'll kind of demonstrate here, um, sitting throughout the day at a desk, how you might irritate the neck, irritate the muscles, or irritate you know, the joints and the nerves in the area that would cause that pain in the neck, mm -hmm. in the shoulder, in the arm, in the elbow, all the way down to your fingertips. And it's pretty commonly intermittent. Right? Yeah. I mean, when you're up and moving around, you're like, you're oh, good. I feel pretty good. Yeah, I feel so that's, good. that's why it takes so long for these things to get found out or for you, someone to go in because you're like, well, I only feel it when I'm you know, at my desk for hours. And then once I kind of get up, there's this stiffness with, you know, with turning, there's a stiffness initially, but then as I kind of move around, it goes away. That's because that tissue back there, it's a very dynamic um, and changeable problem. And usually only just one or two movements to show you, a couple of very simple things to do will resolve it and keep it away. And then you don't even have to worry about it at all. But yep. I'll, I'm gonna pick up the, I'll pick up that. Shift over here, yeah. yeah. Yep. So we're gonna go this way here. Yep, so you've all been there, you know, you start up nice, you're doing your work, whatever, but then throughout the day you find yourself kind of leaning forward, leaning forward, leaning yeah, forward. Gravity takes over. Gravity takes over, Especially all of a sudden. How many people are at home? Yeah. Know, give us a thumbs up if you are, if you're working at home, so <laughs> right, your at home has changed. That definitely makes a difference. Right, it could be at a, a kitchen table that's lower than your normal desk, you're not at the right kind of chair. So here I am, I'm leaning. adapting, adjusting to what you got going on. Yeah. Leaning in, looking at whatever, you know, all of a sudden your head's forward. Your shoulders are hiked up, and so you're in this position. See what happens to his, to his lower neck when his head's forward, you get into that flexion. Right. So after a while, if we're in this position for an extended period of time, I mean, we can start causing a whole bunch of issues and irritations to different muscles, joints, uh, tendons. So you can see up here, these muscles back here are getting shortened. That might contribute to your headaches you're having. My traps are all... Holding, holding my shoulders up, that can irritate the back of the neck and shoulders here, and that can cause some pain. We didn't or, even mention headaches. That's no, we didn't mention, yeah, that, that, that can definitely happen. Um, and then from staying in this position for a long time, we can start to irritate the joints and the nerves in the surrounding area of that, typically that lower cervical spine, mm -hmm. that lower neck. And that's when we can start to see that, you know, kind of... I'm going to come around the back there so yeah, you see, like, you'll feel it. That intermittent, you know, shoulder, neck, Trap, even, even down into the shoulder, shoulder blade. blade. The vertical line from, yeah. from your blade here and it can the spine right in there. And then it can even come, come down all the way down. Yep. You can even cause that, you know, like numbness that you might feel in your fingertips. Yep. But it like... Which, which makes it mask other things. Right. Like the carpal tunnel stuff we talked about. It's yeah. really just a neck problem. And Chris mentioned, you know... Um, after you move around or whatever, you, you, it kind of goes away, right? So it's typically intermittent. As you're in that position, you might notice it more, but then as you get up and walk around, you're moving around, you know, you start to feel good again, and so you kinda, you're not really worried about it. Yeah, so do, should we show some, yeah, show, some of the easy movements? Probably making sure that show how when you adjust, like your, you know, your posture, when you sit up, yeah. it brings you more in line, okay. and when you slouch, it brings you more forward, Right. and then probably something as simple as a retraction. Um, cool. To, yeah. yeah, so one of the things you can start to do is, you know, sit, sit back nicely in your chair, so you can almost bring your butt all the way back to the chair, sit all the way down, that way you're using the entire surface area of the chair, and most chairs have, you know, like a little lumbar, low back support, so as you can see, just by doing that, I'm already in a more upright yeah. position. My ears are more over my shoulder. I'm up taller, and the head and neck will follow where where the rest of your body goes. So if you slouch, I'm um, in the chair, so we'll go a little slouchy. Yep. You'll see how the head just automatically goes. It just they're all connected together. So all you have to do a lot of it is just change your sitting posture. And as soon as you sit up, the head. You see how the ear comes more in line with the. Um, with his shoulder there when you sit up taller, perfect. Yep, so that's one thing you can be conscious of and as you're sitting in this position, you're gonna notice yourself start to sink down as lean forward or whatever. So you just have to, you know, every couple minutes or so, you might just have to, you know, readjust, sit up, whatever. 
Or Keep moving. Use the one that we just talked about yesterday, the slouch overcorrect. Yeah. Get yourself back, find, find right. that neutral spine posture every half hour or so. So you can slouch a little bit. And then then give you a couple of new exercises for the neck as well. Overcorrect it, yeah. So one easy movement for the neck. Most people respond to this. So if you're getting that, you know, neck, shoulder pain, all of arm pain, even the headaches, this can help. Yeah. Is you almost just take your, your head like it's a drawer, like you're pushing in a drawer, okay? So you're just going to take that chin and you're just going to drive your chin straight back. See how it makes the upper part here lengthen and you're going to feel a stretch there because it's the exact opposite of where we like to be, which is head forward or down. So it, it flexes or lengthens the upper part of the neck and then it extends and moves the lower part of the neck backwards, which is the, um, the exact opposite directions or movements that we're used to. Go back to the, like the forward one. Yeah. So when he's there, so when he's there, this, this part and head up a little bit, this part gets all shortened there and that part is on a little bit of sustained um, bend or flexion. And when he comes, yep, the up, exact opposite. Just really helps stretch. It feels great to do when you, every so often, get those. The first, actually, the first couple might be kind of stiff and painful yep. because you haven't done, been there. But once you get going into it, it'll feel a lot better. Cool. We'll try this out, guys. Yep. See, see if it helps That's you. That's why you have the pain in the arm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, give us a holler if you have any questions. Thanks, Thank guys. You.